Welcome to another edition of Campus Connection. I'm Brittany Robinson, and this is what's happening in our community. It all begins now. Look at what's happening around our area. Here's Dylan Huffman with this week's County Wrap-Up. This past week at the Rutherford County Commissioner's Meeting, the Golden Spike Award was given to Jerry Stensland for his work with the Thermal Belt Rail Trail. The award is handed out only once a year by the North Carolina Rails to Trails. There was also discussion of a new EMS center in the southeastern part of the county. The proposal also includes a satellite branch of the county library. In Spindale, a ribbon-cutting ceremony happened to mark the official opening of the weather station on the ICC campus. Also, Isothermal Community College Board of Trustees approved the $27 million budget for the college. The budget for the 2014-2015 fiscal year is down approximately 3% from last year. In Rutherfordton, the town is fixing the sidewalk adjacent to St. Francis Episcopal Church to be ADA compliant. There was also a request made to mount a Wi-Fi antenna on the roof of the Woodrow Jones building. The equipment and installation would be provided by Facebook and Pangea as a part of the project to provide internet street-level service to all of Rutherford County. Well, that's a quick wrap-up of what your local elected officials are working on around the county. For Campus Connection, I'm Dylan Huffman. The Grahamtown Family Reunion was held August 30th at Harden Road Park. Our very own Charles Harrison was there for the fun, food, and family fellowship. Welcome to the Grimtown Reunion. I'm Charles Harrison. Let's walk around and see what's going on. I'm the founder of Grimtown Reunion. My brother and I uh, came together. The Lord had put a vision in my heart, and he works for the town of Four City, so he come out and do the physical part, and I go out and get sponsors to donate food for those who can't set up tent and their own food. Everybody go out being fed and being blessed. So we set up food uh, where sponsors have donated monetary money, I have dance teams, uh, diversity, uh, different churches, dream weavers sometimes come out, different uh, uh, organization come out and it's uh, voting time. So I got different people come out and uh, speak about voting and even different young guys speak to the young uh, people to encourage them. We have games and flannable games and dancing contests and just different kind of activities to get the kids involved because that's my main purpose, pointing towards the young generation, let them know they should be proud of where they come out from. What's your favorite um, part about the Grimtown Town Reunion? Oh, it's the food. It's the food. Like, it's no competition, it's the food. When everybody gets down from the dance floor and starts dancing. Playing basketball. Just the food. Pretty much it. That wraps it up for this year's Grim Time Reunion. As you can see, all there is is food, family, and love. Reporting for Campus Connection, I'm Charles Harrison. At Isothermal Community College, many of the students here accomplish amazing feats. Our student population ranges from those who are simultaneously earning a high school degree and an associate's, to those who are raising a family working full time and still managing to take college classes. This semester, we will introduce a new segment called Student Profiles. If you know an undergraduate who embodies the Isothermal Community College spirit, we want to meet them. We are asking staff and faculty to nominate students for the weekly profile and let us tell their story. Email your nominations to icc.campusconnection at gmail.com. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Isothermal Community College was founded upon a mission, a mission to bring a good and accessible education to those around the Rutherford and Polk County area, supplying a way for people to go as far as they had ever hoped. And now, Isothermal continues on with that mission stronger than ever before, gladly providing an opportunity to whoever is in need. 
Isothermal Community College, celebrating 50 years of community. If you haven't found a way to get involved at Isothermal, you haven't been looking. As Charles Harrison reports, there's something for everyone at ICC. Hi, I'm Charles Harrison, and here's what's going on around campus this week. Intramural activities still continue at Isothermal. Enjoy kickball, tennis, aerobics, basketball, soccer, flag football, and even golfing. For a complete list of activities, go to isothermal.edu and click on current students and go to the sports and recreation link. Be sure to get your student ID if you haven't yet. Stop by the student activity office now through September 19th to get yours made. Are you aggravated with algebra, dismayed by DMAs, or troubled by trigonometry? Help is on its way. There's free tutoring available to all isothermal students currently enrolled in math. For one-on-one -on -one tutoring, call Regina McKinney to schedule an appointment. There is also open lab tutoring for any math class dropped by room 142 in the administration building on Fridays mornings from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Or room 141 in the administration building on Tuesdays and Thursday nights from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Reporting for Campus Connection, I'm Charles Harrison. I'll see you next week. <laughs> There will be a new choice of music, information, and news over the airwaves for Forest City soon. Charles Harrison had a chance to talk with the owner, Stanley McIntyre, to find out more about what purpose this new radio station will serve. The idea for the Community Empowerment Project, applying for an FCC license for a radio station, is to have a community radio station that offers current factual information to the residents of the Grahamtown community and surrounding areas. It's to have information that is definitely pertinent to our communities as a whole. We are in the first month of the fall semester now, and the memories of summer are fading away fast, so we sent our cameras out to talk to some students about what they did over their summer break. I went to Dollywood several times this summer because we got a season pass, and that was the first time I ever did anything like that, so that was a lot of fun. I was in a Broadway musical uh, called The Sound of Music. Uh, it was actually over here at the foundation. I worked as a cashier at The Big Deal. <laughs> I worked at Ryan's as a cashier. I went to the beach twice and also worked all summer long. What I did over the summer, I went to um, Pigeon Forge to spend time with my family and friends. And then after we came back from Pigeon Forge, we went straight to Virginia Beach and had a great time down there. Well, I went to Carowinds once and um, the rest of the summer I kind of just chilled and went to Crestview and played basketball, but it was a good summer. I visited family like in Florida along with my skateboard around town. The weather has been on a bit of a roller coaster lately with hot and humid one day and cool and rainy the next. Let's find out what will be happening with the five day forecast. Here's Jamie with the weather. Thanks Brittany. Now here's a look at the weather from the Associated Press. Looks like there's not going to be much sun coming out this week. Wednesday night we have a chance of thunderstorms and that continues on throughout the day on Thursday with our greatest chance of rain coming in the afternoon. Now of course the high on Wednesday will be 79 reaching down to 55 in the, as the low. And on Thursday it's going to jump all the way down to 73 as the high but 59 will be the low for the day. Now towards the end of the week the chances of rain decrease. Be careful on the Friday morning drive home or to work there will be a chance of some heavy fog. There's also a chance of fog throughout the evening on Friday. Now the high on Friday will be mostly or will be 72 with it being mostly cloudy and the low of course is 54. Saturday the winds increase but the chance of rain decreases and will continue to decrease all the way up until Sunday. Saturday it'll be partly cloudy with 75 as the high and 55 as the low. And Sunday it'll again be mostly cloudy but like I said there's not a very high chance of rain for the week for the rest. It'll also jump up to 79. And thank you for listening. Well, football season is in full force. Ryan Pilgrim and Charles Harrison went to the local high school football games. Here are some highlights from week four. The Cavaliers got into their second loss in the season, getting beat 21-14 by Kings Mountain. East Rutherford will be on the road next Friday taking on East Burt. <laughs> Jefferson had a bye week, so now the Griffins are rested and ready for Asheville School on Friday night. Chase took on Burns, but was delayed due to the thunderstorms in the area Friday night. They finished Monday with Burns coming out on top. Despite the monsoon, Central couldn't fight back Monday night, losing to Shelby 35-20. The Hilltoppers are at 2-2 this season and are ready to make a playoff run. 
Earlier this month, Ice Thermal Community College students turned out for the IC3 Connect gathering. Games, prizes, and social mixing were all part of this helpful event. Faculty and staff turned out to answer any questions about the college and its facilities the students were curious to ask, and every major department and field of study from around the college were there to share their services and to encourage students to become more active in the services and activities offered here at the college. For example, Engel Troxel from the library was there to inform students of digital resources available to their disposal. The students walked away with a better understanding of what isothermal has to offer. If you haven't noticed this semester, it has been fairly hot in the Student Center. Well, that will soon change as the Student Center is currently undergoing an HVAC renovation. This project consists of replacing the original cooling towers and is expected to be completed by the end of this month. The project also includes a replacement of an air handler, which serves the PE classroom. The library also received some renovations this summer. This came as ICC reworked a portion of their storm drainage system, which will eliminate periodic flooding of the library basement. In the future, ICC looks to receive more funding for upgrades to biology and chemistry labs, roofing repairs, and other improvements to HVAC systems across campus. Recently, many of the isothermal administrators, including college president Walter Dalton, accepted the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, all of which will be donating money to help the cause. Our Campus Connection cameras were there to watch the students enjoy dumping ice water on the president, vice presidents, and marketing director. Congratulations to Angela Marlowe, this year's Willard L. Lewis Staff Award winner. Ms. Marlowe is the Secretary for the Applied Sciences and Technology Division of the college. The objective of the award is to encourage, identify, and reward excellent performance and commitment to the college by the non-teaching staff. Ms. Marlowe has worked for the college for 34 years and was praised for being a dependable team player. Thanks for joining us on Campus Connection. Have a great rest of the week. Signing off with Gramtown Reunion's event where food, fun, and festivities take place. Take a look. Joe, what you gonna call it? Joe? Joe Miller. Oh, um, Tootie, could you tell um people what's your friend?